Let's say that you want to create a basic bank ledger or check register in Excel. We're going to go through how to do this. Here's an example. I have, at the top, labeled the date, the name of the company, or the person money is being paid to, or is putting money into the account. Column C is for deposits, or money coming into the account. And column D is for withdrawals, or money going out of the account. And column F is the account balance. Let's go through a couple of examples. On July 4th, we have a starting balance of $1,865.12, which I've entered in row 2 in cell F2. Now let's say that on July 5th, a purchase is made at Home Depot for $221.13. We're going to enter this into row 3. Type in the date, type in the name of the payee, then in column D, because this is money going out of the account, in cell D3, we put the amount of $221.13. And in column F, the balance column, we're going to create our own formula. Left click on cell F3 so it's highlighted. Then type in an equal sign. Next, we left click on the previous balance of $1,865.12, cell F2. Then we're going to type in an addition sign. Then left click on the cell in the deposits or money into the account column, column C, cell C3. Now we type in a subtraction sign. Then left click on the cell in the withdrawals or money going out column, column D, cell D3. And then hit the enter key and we have our new balance of $1,643.99. One more example of when money enters into the account. On July 7th, a friend named Bob transferred us $50 that he owed. So enter the date in the next row, row 4, cell A4, then the name, then in the deposits or money in column, column C, cell C4, enter the $50. We can skip the next column in this row. And since we entered the formula the way we did in cell F3, this is going to be much easier to calculate the balance of. Left click on the cell with the previous balance, cell F3, so it's highlighted. Now go down to the bottom right corner of the cell and you'll see the cursor turn black. From here, left click and hold and drag down one cell over cell F4, then release a click and hold. And you can see that it has automatically calculated the new balance of $1,693.99. And you can continue to enter transactions as you see here. I'm going to pull down on the fill handle to fill in the balance column. And you can see how easy this spreadsheet is to create. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.